Hey, this is Judge Waits bringing you another Black Ops 2 video. I wanted to talk about the latest changes for you Xbox 360 users. I'm sure these are going to be changes that are coming to everybody eventually. But as you know, Xbox 360 users, we always get everything first. So I wanted to talk about these micro items that they've released. And to find out what I mean about the micro items, all you want to do is go down to store, click on that. Now you have the ability to download maps. You have the ability to download a whole bunch of other things. Let's start with the map packs, though. And, you know, before you could download these Revolution things, the, like the Revolution map pack, if you had the Season Pass, you automatically got it for free. Now you can download, though, the Nuketown Zombies map pack. They cost 400 Microsoft points. I already had it because I had the uh, Hardened Edition. If you had the Prestige Edition of the game, you got those as well. Nuketown 2025 is now going to be free for everybody. That was another special pre-order bonus that they gave out but now that is going to be free so if you don't have these map packs you know you might want to check it out that Nuketown Zombies is a great map to play if you're into zombies and Nuketown 2025 is also a great map I'm hoping they put it in the lineup right away we'll wait and see about that though if you go down to avatars I'm not going to worry about that personalization packs these are those micro items that I was talking you can now purchase skins for your weapons they cost 160 points a piece besides the skins that you have unlocked for each of your weapons you also get new reticles so you can see in the left like there's a dollar sign for the reflex site there's the ACOG site and there's the EOTech site so you see what you get those are going to be available for uh, any of your weapons that you have and that is Boy, that is an ugly weapon, <laughs> ugly skin. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, the one that everybody's talking about, though, is the bacon skin. Check that out. You can see it's got a little piggy for the reflex site, a little piece of bacon, you know, for the other sites and everything like that. So if you're into that, you might want to pick that up. I could care less, to be honest with you. So I'm not going to be uh, spending any money on that. There are also new calling cards available. You can pick them according to what region you are. So there's the North American pack. You can see it's got Canada, Mexico, the United States, and all the other various countries that are in North America. And you can see the other different regions here. You can download those for a cheap 80 Microsoft points. Once again, I don't really care about those. I'm not going to be doing that. All right, this is the one that kind of interests me, and this is the one that I actually purchased. Now, I, you know, I purchased it. I really felt like I shouldn't purchase it. You know, I was kind of conflicted over this because I kind of feel like they're nickel and diamond in us. Uh, but this one actually has a purpose and I kind of wanted to show you because there's a lot of confusion about this one. So let me show you what this extra slots pack is and then we'll kind of talk about whether or not you should purchase these or not and everything like that. So if you purchase that, you go into Xbox Live, oh, actually yeah, Xbox Live, and then go into your public match and then your create a class. All right, here are my normal 10 classes that I have and, and I kind of change them and tweak them and everything like that. But as you can see, I have 10 custom classes. On the top of that, though, it says Class Set 1. If I press, press my left bumper and right bumper, I can actually create another 10 custom classes. So right now, I can have 100 custom classes. Why in the world would you want 100 classes? Why would you want more than 10? Well, here's what I do. Normally, I play both core and hardcore. So my first five classes are more my hardcore classes. And then my bottom five classes are normally more my core classes. So, you know, I only really get five classes to set up. Now, though, I can use class sets. I could have class set one. One, be all hardcore related. I could have class set two, be all core related. I could have class set three, be all objective related classes for when I'm playing objective classes. I could have class set four for when my brother-in-law comes over and plays. He can set up his own custom classes here and then he can just pick it. So whatever class set that you pick and everything like that, when you go into a game, that's what you're going to be able to choose from. So it's not like you get to choose from a hundred different classes during a game. Whatever class set you are in and you go into a game, into a particular match, that is the ones you're going to have to pick from. So you'll have 10 available. You'll have 10 custom classes available if you have unlocked 10 custom classes. If you only have five custom classes, maybe you've never prestiged or you've never used your prestige token to unlock another creative class, then you're only going to have five custom classes available so whatever you have if you have five six seven eight nine ten whatever that is you'll have that available per class set 
Hopefully that explains it. If you got any questions on that, make sure you leave them for me. Let me know what you think about all this. You know, I, I'm like I said, I'm kind of conflicted because I don't like it that you know people have to pay for this stuff. On the other hand, this is nothing that affects gameplay. It is, if they did anything that affected gameplay, I've seen other games do this, then I would be done with Call of Duty. You know, but these are just you know skins and creative classes i kind of feel like i'm getting ripped off a little bit because you know people that didn't take the time to unlock those extra custom classes kind of have the ability to get a whole bunch more but i just think this is going to be a real advantage for me in being able to set up extra custom classes a lot of people you only need five custom classes for whatever you play so this really isn't going to be a value to you so i guess if it's of value to you go for it you know uh remember too i've got a subscriber challenge going on right now that you can win 1600 microsoft points or your playstation equivalent or anything like that so if you need those points you want to buy some stuff on here make sure you check out that challenge but uh, like I said, if you got any questions or comments, make sure you leave them for me. I am really interested in knowing what you guys think about this. You know, is are they nickel and diamond us to death, or or what do you think about this? Is this pretty cool? You know, do you like the ability to put bacon on your rifle? You know, I don't know. That, like I said, that's not for me. But I'm just curious what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. Make sure you check out my other video where I talk about you know what kind of changes are coming to the weapons with the latest patch and everything like that. But as always, guys, take care and God bless.